Okay, this is the engine bay of our 1968 Ford Mustang. A really nice blue coupe. Like a light blue metallic coupe. A uh, lot of action underneath here, though. Uh, everything very, very well done. It's a 302. It has a set of uh, aluminum Ford Motorsport valve pan covers on it. Uh, it has an Edelbrock intake manifold on it. Aluminum, of course. It has a Carter AFB Edelbrock uh, four-barrel carburetor with a functioning electric choke on it also. It also has for the fuel system a uh, fuel pressure regulator that they have here, an inline fuel filter and uh, a fuel pressure gauge itself. It has power steering, it has air conditioning, it has dual stage master cylinder, it does not have power brakes, but it's got a heck of a braking system on it, which we'll show you underneath here. It has a, a serious set of discs in the front of this thing. Uh, all the uh, strut bracing on this thing is uh, uh, chromed in the back part, and uh, this is an added part from Ford Motorsports in the front here. Additional strength to keep it from uh, torsionally twisting. has a brand new battery in it, all new battery uh, cable ends on it, high capacity Ford radiator on it with two huge electric fans in the front of it, and wow, an electric fan in the back of it too on a shroud that, uh, that belongs with the radiator. They got a nice system here, a really nice system to keep this guy cool. Uh, overflow bottle for the radiator, bill of aluminum. This compressor, by the way, is a modern uh, day compressor as opposed to the old style Ford compressors. Uh, and it's also polished aluminum. It has a new alternator, which is chrome, hiding down underneath there. Uh, it has some, um, appear to be uh, aluminum pulley wheels on it. It has new belts on it also. Um, nice set of high temp silicone plug wires on it. Someone's billet distributor, I really can't see, has a new vacuum advance system in the front of it. There are no leaks whatsoever on this engine. Uh, valve pan covers, at least on top anyway. Um, we'll see underneath here shortly. But the uh, uh, top part of it does not have any leaks whatsoever on it. Has a set of um, substantial headers on this thing. It looks like they're a long tube design. And they're going to be about, I don't know, about an inch and three quarters. Uh, pretty uh, stout system for this, uh, uh, this car. Um, Dual horns in the front, original style from Ford Motor Company, original washer bottle for the uh, headlights. Uh, headlights. A windshield. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, everything in this engine compartment is really, really nice. Uh, it, it's, it's very, very tastefully done. Uh, the uh, inner fender panels are painted semi flat black, just the way they should be. You can see the radiator core support is all original, it's never been disrupted. Uh, so this guy's never had any uh, nose trauma through the years. Uh, everything looks to be as it should in this engine compartment. Great looking 302 Ford, built, making some substantial horsepower, and it's made it to a five-speed transmission too. So this thing is a three-pedal part, which we'll show you again too. I'm getting off track here trying to do this engine compartment though. has a Mustang um, aluminum uh, air cleaner also for it. Uh, there is absolutely nothing out of uh, place under here. Everything is as it should be underneath here. They even went as far as to put a new uh, a rubber seal on the back part of the hood. Fantastic engine compartment. Hi, you're at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And we have a kind of a neat little car for you today. It's a uh, 68 Ford Mustang. It's a coupe, not a fastback. So it's not going to be up here price-wise. It's going to be a little bit... Uh, where anyone can afford to buy this car. And it's really a neat car. So it's something you maybe want to take a look at. Um, we'll go over it and show you what we can. The uh, gap from the hood to the fender, as you can see, and up to the collar area. The fitment is very nice on the car. Very, very nice on the car. Uh, the paint quality is driver quality. It, uh, it's not show quality, but it is, it's, you know, it, not chipped or marked up anywhere that we can see so far. Uh, the alignment of the panels is very, very nice. Um, two holes here. Why they're there, I have no idea. Uh, but there are two holes in the hood in addition to the, um, the scoop being put on. So 302 designation on the scoop, flat black scoop for a Mach 1 style car, and a uh, little stripe coming out of it. Uh, 
gap on this side is the same as the other side. It's nice to fit into the uh, fender, to the collar. You can see everything lines up just as it should. Uh, they have light buckets themselves. It has an aftermarket set of uh, high intensity lights in it. Trim around them is really nice. Grill area. Oh, that's loose. We've got to fix that. Screw these tight. But it's not marked up or dingy whatsoever, absolutely none. It's tight, tight. Aluminum grill and the, 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 the trim around at the end of that is aluminum is just as, as it should be. This argent uh, uh, finished uh, surround on the grill is also just the way it should be, just the way it was from the factory. Headlight on this side, same as the other side, high intensity. It looks like some type of a aftermarket uh, high-end bulb in it. Uh, filler panel between the uh, bumper, which right on fitment-wise. And the chrome on the bumper is very, very nice. There's no marks or anything on the top part of the bumper at all. Absolutely none. It does have a GT style nose on it. In other words, it has the GT appointments and it has the uh, fog lights in the grill. Uh, front valance, there's no marks or pulls whatsoever in it. Parking lights are just as nice and clean and clear as they should be. It's a nice front end on a car. Very, very nice front end. Um, I don't see anything really out of alignment. One piece of trim that needs tightened up. A couple of little tiny holes that you can't do anything about. Uh, but other than that, the, the, the fit and the, fit, the finish, everything on this car is uh, really, really nice so far. So let's get down the side and see if we can find something there for you. Okay, driver's side. Our little 68 Mustang. Look how nice that fits. We've got to go down just a hair in the back. Get off track here. Uh, side marker light up front, really nice and <coughs> clean as could be. The um, fender lips themselves are rolled in like it would be on a Shelby or something. Uh, someone has done that for tire clearance. You can see it's got a huge set of 17 inch rubber on this thing. So uh, it is rolled, it is not distressed in any way or filled or mudded up or anything. It's just the original pin. It is called Mustang designation on the side. Fitment of the fender to the door. Look at that. That's sweet. That looks good. Uh, correct style arms and blades on this side too. Trim around the front window. Absolutely flawless. There's no dings or hammer marks or anything on it anywhere. Really as nice as you hope to find. Padded dashes as it would be when it was new. I don't see any marks or distortions or cracks or any uh, uh, issues for deterioration through age. Where it transitions to the base of the windshield, that trim piece, everything is clean as can possibly be in there. Uh, really good looking uh, uh, top end of the dashboard of this car. Uh, well, the roof, the roof's the roof. I mean, it, uh, obviously doesn't have any dents or things or marks or anything else whatsoever in it. Uh, patina is missing on this. Jeez, usually these things are really, really bad. This thing has absolutely no patina whatsoever. That's unusual. These guys are usually pretty bad. That is absolutely gorgeous uh, around the wing area. Uh, correct style Ford mirror, uh, just the way it should be. A little bit of a kink here. I don't think we're going to do anything with it. It's just that whenever the drip reel was installed, for whatever reason, or it may have even happened in shipment, there's a little tiny bit of a kink here in it. Why it's there, I have no idea, but it is there. Look at this though. Window fitment, front window to the back, and trim around the windows themselves. Either uh, the glass is housed in uh, a chrome-plated metal, and there's no patina on it either. Very, very nice. Door handles are absolutely brand new. Uh, I don't feel any marks or dingies or anything in this car so far. Look at this. Look. That is precise. Can't get a door to fit any better than that. 
Again, no patina on this chrome piece and the uh, scoop type insert. It does have rocker panel moldings. There are no kick marks from anyone's heels through the years on it. Uh, just as nice and fresh as can possibly be. Uh, the whole way down the side of it, then and there's no marks anywhere on that uh, uh, kick panel. Rocker panel. Trim around the uh, back window. Same as it was on the front, absolutely no problem whatsoever. By the way, a tinted glass on the front, it does have a sun uh, shade fade uh, deal on it. Tinted glass, it looks like in the back too, and the sides. Wow, looks like this guy got tinted glass all around it. Huh. Hat shelf, rack, tray, uh, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. A set of aftermarket speakers uh, that actually look very good. I think they take Pioneer on them. Uh, but they're a nice set of aftermarket speakers. The tray itself and the back, uh, the top of the back seat is just as fresh and clean as you'd ever hope to find. Let's see. It's all tin. Nobody bonded anything up. Side marker lamp in the back, the same as it is on the front, just absolutely as nice as you'd hope to find. And that's our driver's side. And again, you can see a huge set of 17-inch rubber on this thing, as big as you can hang on the back, and obviously as big as it'll fit on the front because they've even rolled the fenders to compensate for the additional uh, tire width and height on this vehicle. Got some serious rubber on this guy. Nice driver's side. Let's go out back see what we show you there. Okay, rear section of our 68 Mustang. Again, look at the fitment of this guy. The gaps, look at the gaps, they're absolutely precise. As nice as you could ever hope to find. The only thing, check this. Definitely needs an adjustment. <clears throat> Once we pull this down in the center, that'll line everything up on this end and this end, just as it should be. So, minor adjustment and then that guy's fixed. Uh, paint on this thing, again, on the back, the same as it was on the front. It's a driver quality paint job. Uh, we haven't done anything to this vehicle other than clean it up, wash it, and that's pretty much it. may send it out and have it wet sanded and buffed, or maybe we won't. Well, maybe we'll just sell it the way it is and uh, someone can uh, go ahead and buy the car a heck of a lot cheaper and uh, finish it off themselves. Trim around the base of the uh, deck lid just as nice as could be. If it would just fit a little better. Uh, Mustang designation, there's no patina on the chrome whatsoever, GT style cap in the back, all new chrome around the uh, three tail lights on each side. Look at that. All three of them just as nice and clean as you could possibly find. Um, rear section back here is just again absolutely dent free. Chrome on the bumper is flawless just like it was on the front and the fitment is You can't get it any better than that. That's, that's spot on. Again, there's no scuffs or marks or anything on the top of the chrome or the bumper. So no one's put their feet up on it or put things out of it, you know, lifting something out of the trunk and putting it on there and then dragging it across through the years. Backup lights are just as nice and clean and clear as you'd ever find. The trim around them, the chrome uh, basils are absolutely flawless. Got a huge set of pipes hanging out the back of this guy. We got some serious, serious exhaust system on this. Haven't been under it yet, so we'll see what's actually under there. Uh, the rear valance doesn't have any pulls or anything. There are a couple of reliefs for the GT style rear valance that uh, uh, they used on this car when they put these big uh, pipes off the back. So the back end of this car, other than needing an adjusted deck lid, is as nice as you're going to ever find one. I haven't found too much so far. First, we've gone over this car. One more side to go, though. Okay, our last side, passenger side. Uh, side marker light, just as nice as you find. Red in the back, clear in the front on uh, this particular car. Again, tin, no bondo, no filler. Not that we can detect. Trim around this back window, the same as it was on the other side. Just as flawless as you could hope to find one. Again, tinted glass on the back here. There's not a whole lot of tire clearance there. Not hitting, but the, this is as big a rubber as will fit on this car. That I can assure you. 
Cell uh, panel and roof, same as the other side. There's really no uh, issues whatsoever. Now this piece, this drip rail is absolutely flawless. Check this window fitment out, same as the other side too. Nice seal on it. Wipes whiskers, forgot to mention them on the other side. They're new, they have been replaced. The rubber's nice and resilient on it. Uh, no patina on this side either. Wow, that's amazing. Like I said, usually these things are really marked up and that side or this side is absolutely flawless. Nice as you could ever hope to find. Uh, matching mirror on the passenger side to match the one on the driver's side. Chrome door handle again, new, replaced. Chrome piece here, no patina, just as nice as you want to find. Look, look at this again. Look. Check the gap out too. Again, look at the fit of this thing. Look. Totally, totally amazing. This, this fits perfectly. All right, antenna, huh? Mustang designation in the front. Ford logo. Dual fender lips. Side marker lamp. Fender to where the lamp starts in the front. Just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. Just as nice, straight fitting. Very precise car. Couple little things around it, adjust the deck lid, uh, tighten that piece of trim. Other than that, uh, rocker panel molding on this side, same as the other side. There's no kick marks or scratches or scrapes or anything on it. Got a huge set of 17 inch style torque thrust style wheels on it. They are chrome plated. They do have a lot of luster to them. Uh, it's got a huge set of uh, ventilated discs in the front, drums in the back. Um, the vehicle is just a nice driver quality vehicle. Uh, if we take this vehicle and spend a little bit more money on it, I think we can make an absolute showpiece out of this. This is a very, very nice looking car. I don't know what it's like mechanically yet. This is the first, I've never even sat in it, so this is the first uh, I've had a chance to go over it. We just got the car and uh, uh, we're presenting it to you just the way we received it. So any inequities that you see that we have to go ahead and address, that's what we're going to do. And the reason I run my hands over these cars is because a lot of times if I don't see something, I can feel it. Uh, you're going down the side of a door. I may not see a dent or a deviation in the door, but if I'm running my hand across it, I'll feel it. And that's the reason I do that. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't matter because before we ship these cars, they all get orbital buffed and uh, uh, waxed. So uh, any marks or anything that I put on it uh, by rubbing my hands over it will be uh, negated by the fact that we do prepare these things uh, finish-wise before they, uh, they are shipped. We try to present these uh, vehicles to you as well as we can and this is a really neat vehicle. Uh, this thing is going to be an inexpensive car. Um, it's not going to be a high-end, you know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar Mustang. It's going to be something you can buy substantially less than that. And don't forget, it does have a five-speed in it, and it's a built 302, and it has air conditioning and power steering, and a fantastic set of wheels and tires, and a nice set of brakes on it. So I don't know how much more you could ask for a, a neat-looking Mustang. Uh, it, it's available here at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And uh, we went over this whole car. You just watched Evan and I do it. Um, we try to present these to you as well as we possibly can. If we miss something, we apologize. If you need any further videos or specific photographs of a specific area, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to uh, uh, supply you with it. Um, but the one thing we'd like to have you do is come down. Uh, visit us. Take a look at our showroom. Uh, we're going to open up a, a boutique here. Uh, we're going to have a lot of t-shirts and a lot of memorabilia, all kind of neat things for sale. Uh, so even though you came to look at this car, you may not buy this car. You might buy that Roadrunner or that uh, Cougar over there, which we still have the video. We just got it too. Or Chevelle. You know, we have got 80 cars on the floor. We try to do our best to get these things up on videos and uh, the still photo presentation. But when you look at our website, you're going to see 40-some cars on the website. There are 80 cars in this building. 80, not 40-some. So there's a lot of stuff that we have, a lot of inventory that we have um, 
that you don't even know about yet. So give us a call. You know, if you have an interest in this Mustang, maybe we'll upsell you to that uh, uh, S code uh, Cougar that we have over there in an Eliminator, which isn't up on the website yet. But anyway, you get a chance to take a look at it. It's on the Hangster's website. Um, we encourage you to come look at it down here, but it's a fantastic car. Um, driver quality. This is not a show vehicle. It's a driver quality car. And it's going to be priced accordingly. Okay, this is the interior of our 68 Mustang. This car is an amazing little car. It's the first time I got a chance to really take a look at it, but somebody spent some money on this guy. Headliner, just as fresh and tight and nice as can be. Sun visors are nicely padded yet and no deterioration whatsoever on them. Day-night mirror and there's no milkiness whatsoever in it. Just as nice as can possibly be. Nice, resilient. Yeah, this looks like the original dash on this car yet. And it could very well be. Dashboard. Someone has put in a set of custom auto meter gauges in this. So you've got a tachometer, a speedometer. Uh, fuel pressure, fuel pressure, fuel level, um, oil pressure, and temp gauge. All auto meter gauges and fit into the uh, Ford enclosures. Really a nice, nice setup. Custom, uh, I don't know who's manufactured, but it has a Mustang in the center of it, uh, steering wheel. Nice setup here. Um, vents for the air, air conditioning, both in the dash and the under uh, underside. Of course, you got your little ashtray in here. How about that? It has a light that works in it yet, too. And you got an ashtray in, or ashtray, glove box in the uh, dashboard also. Power windows. Can you believe that? This thing's got power windows in it. Adjustable mirror on this side and one to match on that side. Not, an, not adjustable on the right hand side, though. Uh, the interior in this car is just exemplary. It's really nice. Uh, the seats are correct style. Uh, seats that belong in a 68 Mustang. It has a complement of seat belts in the back and shoulder belts, seat belts in the front. How about that? The upholstery, like I said, back and front matches and you can see everything's been freshly done, everything repadded, just done as nicely as can possibly be. Uh, carbon fiber type insert here on the uh, center section of the uh, console. Door panels themselves are just as fresh and clean as you'd ever hope to find. Still have the uh, original style molded armrests on them. Uh, the back uh, panels on each side do not have any deterioration on them, where usually through the years they start to uh, flake and get a little deteriorated, faded. Uh, these are not. These are just as fresh and clean as you'd ever hope to find. Interior lights still functioning. Uh, and here is the key to this whole operation right here. Check this out. Five-speed. It's a five-speed transmission. I'm going to assume it's a Tremec. I don't really know. Take a look once we get underneath it. Um, great looking car. Really nice clean interior. The door jams themselves are as fresh and clean as they were when they were new. Uh, your uh, door sill, door sill um, panels are nicely polished and uh, still have the Ford logo on them. They're probably replacements. They look like they're brand spanking new. Has an upgraded uh, radio system in it, but they didn't hack up the dashboard in it. It has a cassette player here, a couple of auxiliary speakers in the hat rack, which we did show you, but it also has a couple in the uh, kick panel. So it's got a pretty high end uh, uh, stereo system in it. And this is a real wood wheel from what I can see also. You know, really, this is a very high end interior on this car. Uh, all the rubbers are, oh, that needs glued. Uh, the rubbers are all new though. Uh, everything is nice and resilient and fresh rubber wise on it. Um, Mustang floor mats, front and rear. Loop pile carpeting, the way the car came from the factory. This is a nice interior, very, very nice. And it, it kind of mimics the outside of this car. It's a nice, uh, nice driver quality car with a higher end interior in it and uh, five speed Tremec and a Bill 302. I don't know, this, this car sounds like it's going to be a real deal for somebody. It's, it's a really good looking car. Take a look at it. It's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. Okay, we're in our 68 uh, Ford Mustang. Um, silver blue. Kind of a neat car. Uh, it has a custom dashboard in it, uh, auto meter gauges, tachometer that is functioning, speedometer that hopefully will be functioning. 
Uh, oil pressure is holding about 70 uh, pounds up here. Uh, it's also an auto meter gauge. Water temperature is up to about 155 right now. We had it running just for a little bit here. Fuel gauge showing us a little under a quarter, which is about right for us. Turn signal left is just beating itself to death over here. And the right one doing the same thing. So we have all of our turn signals working as they should. Remote control mirror, I know it works. Uh, wipers that work. How about that? Okay, air conditioning. Oh, I heard the compressor kick on, so let's wait a second here. Air conditioning is getting cool. How about that? So we have a functioning air conditioned uh, little Mustang here. Works well. Radio. How about that? You believe that? The radio works. Holy crap. There's a rear seat speaker's power antenna just went up. Check this out. I'll shut it off to see the power antenna go down. Well, or not. It went up. <laughs> we have to lube it up a little bit, I guess. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, horn. Oh, power windows. Yeah, look at this. Power windows. That one works. Uh, the one behind me. You see it's working. The one behind Devin. See it working. It was down, so. And the back one, same way. It's going back down behind Devin. You can hear it going up and down. So we got all four power windows working. Pretty neat car. First time I got a chance to sit in this thing. Five speed Tremec. Let's go for a ride, see how this guy runs. Uh, well, the car's nice and tight. Uh, the speedometer is not working. We have to fix that. So I noticed the ca there's a cable. And by the way, this thing goes down the road straight as an arrow. Look at this. Nice tight steering on it. it goes down the road just as nice and straight as you'd ever want to have it go down the road. Real nice car. Let's see how it stops before this guy climbs up on me too. Stop straight as an arrow. It's 180 degrees temperature. It's running 180. I think it's about 180 outside right now anyway, so you know it's not overheating. Uh, it's a nice smooth, tight running car. You know, real nice steering resolution to it. No rattle shakes, shimmies, absolutely nada, nothing. Well, this is the undercarriage of our 68 uh, uh, silver blue Mustang. Uh, it's a coupe. A uh, really neat car. 302. You can see everything on the motor is fresh. You can tell it's been out and completely refurbished. Everything completely redone. Another little drip of oil here. That's common. Another little drip of oil coming off the uh, uh, tranny housing there, but that's common also. Uh, nothing to drip on the floor. You're not going to find any big puddles underneath it. It's just there's a little tiny bit of seepage. That's all there is. Uh, nothing to address. The uh, sway bar in front is a heavy duty sway bar. It has disc brakes in the front, cross drilled rotors, uh, fairly fresh looking uh, rotors and calipers on this actually. Tyron engine, nice uh, fresh looking also. It does have new shocks in the front. It uh, has an aluminum oil pan obviously on it. The uh, tranny housing and everything, it appears to be a five-speed Tremec in this vehicle. The headers are, um, we're going to call them inch and five-eighths, might be inch and three-quarters, I'm not really sure, but uh, uh, at any length they're long tube header design, go into a three-inch collector, uh, and then into a two-and-a-half-inch huge exhaust system going toward the rear. Uh, the, the front aprons are really good, uh, whenever you look up into it, no one's made any attempt to jack it up on these through the years. 
the torque boxes are very very nice condition there's a little bit of deterioration on this one right here not enough really to address but just a mark nothing to get concerned about on that for sure <coughs> um, custom mount for the uh, Tremec transmission for the uh, uh, rear part of the transmission four boards in the front are real nice and appear to all be original on the passenger side and the driver's side also this one section here has been replaced you can see where that section of the floor has been replaced uh, but other than that looks like all original floor pans on this guy the uh, subframes have no marks whatsoever on that one or this one from jack marks through the years everything appears to be good no leaks on the uh, uh, tail shaft of the transmission uh, new U joint on the drive shaft hydraulic clutch on this guy too just notice that parking brake still hooked up and functional the uh, fuel line is the original fuel line and the brake lines appear to be original brake lines also on this uh, going toward the rear of the car again the Floor pans, you can see the floor pans are really, really nice. Dent here, some rocket scientists decided to jack it up on this point. You can see there's a little edge from the jack, but uh, it, it's certainly nothing that uh, detracts from the uh, structural integrity of this vehicle. Uh, it's in the back seat area, actually. If you take a hammer and give it a smack, it'll pop back down. The uh, subframes in the back and the torque boxes are in really great condition. A jack mark here where someone also has put a jack here and here through the years to lift the car up. The uh, springs in the back are multi-leaf design and they still have a nice curvature to them. They have uh, new shocks on the, yep, new shocks on the uh, rear of this car also. It has a set of Lakewood style traction bars on it. Uh, they um, they definitely help this car a lot, you know, and help compensate for some of the uh, uh, torque twist in the uh, rear differential. Eight inch uh, Ford heavy duty rear end in it. Uh, let's see, the floor pans in the trunk area all appear to be original. I don't see anywhere they've been replaced and they're in excellent condition. Floor pans in the back the same way. And you can see up through here other than the one section that I noted that has been replaced. Other than that, everything else appears to have all its, the originality that you'd hope for. Uh, it also has, let's see, some type of a rear sway bar system on it. I don't know what they've incorporated some type of a uh, aftermarket rear sway bar on this car. Uh, it attaches to the, instead of being underneath the rear differential like most of them are, this guy's on top, so it serves the same purpose. It's just the positioning is a little different. I kind of like this design better. Keeps all that stuff from hanging down underneath the vehicle. It does have a uh, Holly uh, electric fuel pump in the back as a pusher to jam the uh, fuel up front. Original gas tank still has the original drain plug in it. The uh, drop downs in the quarters are very nice. They're not deteriorated at all from what I can see. Subframes in the back are excellent condition. Other than these two jack marks on it, that's it. They go on transition up over the uh, rear differential over the housing and go to the back of the vehicle and uh, the structural piece across the back is nice and strong and straight also I don't see anything under here that's uh, an issue uh, I don't know we might do something with that I'm not crazy about the way that's just hanging there but <clears throat> yeah we'll, we'll tie this up some way that it's a, it's a little better design this leaves a lot to be desired but it uh, it does have a, a clear fuel filter in it that uh, uh, would be easy to change too. The only problem there is you better have an empty tank of fuel because um, let's see drum brakes in the back, disc brakes in the front, we did mention that new shocks all four corners. This thing has a whole brand new set of rubber on it, front and rear and they are as large a tire as you can fit under this thing. There's absolutely there's probably a quarter of an inch, maybe maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch clearance on them for uh, touching. But uh, as far as I know, they don't touch. But we'll find out. We're going to take it for a ride. And it does have a crossover pipe in this two and a half inch system, which is also two and a half inch. That's a nice setup. I mean, it's a car that's really clean underneath. It uh, uh, really doesn't have any uh, uh, perforation issues anywhere. Uh, the one issue that it did have has been um, ratified. It's a uh, 
uh, been replaced with the uh, correct style even uh, floor pin in it. So, I, I, other than a couple, one little drip there, you can see there's one here. But again, not enough to, uh, this could have been from the oil change here. And I know it's not dripping on the oil on the floor first. So, uh, it's a nice clean car underneath. It's real straight. Um, we'll find out how it runs here shortly. I've never driven it yet. This is the first time I've been under it. So, it's available here at Hankster's at Daytona Beach, Florida.